So I'm probably gonna be the only one saying this about this episode of Kuroko. But that was fucking fantastic! A lot of people are gonna think that I'm overstating how good the episode was. I don't think I am. Uh, and here's why. I think it did a perfect job at characterizing everybody. Could it, I could see how some people could think it's rushed because they did characterize everybody in the same episode and there were these really drastic shifts from people last episode into this episode, but it all makes sense because when Aomine kind of had that mind switch at uh, through last episode, it affected the entire uh, team's morale. And then for them all to change was just the only logical thing to do. This week characterized everybody from Akashi to Aomine to Murasaki Bura, Kisei, Midorima, Kuriko, and even the coach. Like, that's the one thing I did not think would happen. They have yet to characterize any other coach in the series. Like, they've kind of given them a personality, uh, like the, uh, the Searings coach, but they have not characterized any other coach in the series. It, this was just really good in terms of just exposition. Was there a bit of action? Yeah, I don't... I, the game was irrelevant. That, that wasn't the purpose of this. It was to show how every character in the Generation of Miracles develop. I will say that Akashi's uh, type of scene was, it was extremely melodramatic. It, it really was, but it was fun. I guess that's the only way I could really explain it, and it did, it, it, it did its job. It characterized Akashi. Was it a little over the top-ish? Oh yeah, it was definitely over the top, especially when you have the opera movie, go uh, op opera music like, Hey, say mama! I might as well have just been playing the Fire Emblem Awakening OST. <laughs> but uh, yeah, as melodramatic as it may have been, it still did its job in characterizing Akashi. Uh, is there much to talk about past that? I can't believe how much Akashi changed once he fucking got Eagle Eye. His logic is twisted, but... He reminds me of Hikigai in a sense, whereas even though the logic may be twisted, the result makes sense, and, and, and it all makes sense. Akashi's logic, in short, was that if you try to combine five divine forces, they're going to clash. And so the only way to keep them from dispersing and clashing in a, like a destructive way is to have them clash against each other in a competitive way. So in short, he's separate, he's pushing them all away so they all become rivals while being on the same team. And it's really smart when you really, uh, when you think about it. It's the only way that they can really handle this situation. I mean, could the coach have handled it differently? Yeah, he probably could have. But even if he did, I mean like, I mean, could have just quit the team at that point. But would he have? Would he have? Because he does love basketball. But when there's no one to kind of play with, then... Do you blame him? I mean, like, you can't blame Aomine because he's black, and he's black in Japan. It, it was his destiny to be the best player in all of Japan. Destiny. Uh, 1014, there was a little derp with Aomine's arm, like... <laughs> I'm not sure if that was supposed to be a tree from before or his arm. Uh, whatever the fuck it was, I, I don't know. That's confusing. It's kind of funny to see how uh, everything changed from the beginning of the episode when Midorima was like, yeah, I'll even take some of your snacks, Murasaki Bura, and by the end of the episode, he absolutely despises Murasaki Bura more than he did last episode. Oh, uh, speaking of last episode, I thought it was pretty good. It was just kind of average. It was just really a flashback. No one really developed, but Aomine during that one, and it wasn't like a big, drastic development. It was just kind of like, oh, by the way, uh, this happened in the OVA and blah, blah, blah. So yeah. Uh, that's what I thought about last episode. Uh, this episode was cold as fuck. I, I don't think there's been characterization this well throughout any show this season, let alone 2015 as of now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. That's my thoughts on this episode of Quirk. A lot of people are gonna think that I am over-exaggerating how good this episode is. I might be. Maybe you think I am. But, uh, I think that it was fantastic. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces!